Hello and welcome to another tutorial for HackingFever.com. Today I'll be showing you guys how to uh, play Nintendo 64 games on your computer. Um, all you're gonna need is two programs, I mean, one program uh, called Project 64. And so you would need. I'll have this website link on my page. So when you get to this uh, link, you're gonna at like the bottom of my uh, right below my vi this video you're gonna wanna click on project 64 uh... this thing right here it'll start downloading Let's see if you click on it it'll take you to this download section set up um, if you have internet explorer just run it if you have firefox like me uh... save it to your desktop make sure it's to your desktop and then just start it up once it's installed and ready to go then uh... you can start getting ROMs what ROMs are is pretty much just uh... the actual games Project 64 is the Nintendo 64 and ROMs are like the games so yeah so you, uh... to get a game just decide what you want click the one that starts with the first that matches the first letter of your name so I'm gonna get Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Let's download file 01. And it might have a kind of a lot of ads. I don't know why the site just does. And so yeah, just click on the download right there. Save to disk. So yeah, just save to your disk. And now while it's downloading, it takes like two minutes or something. Uh, you want to go to, you can just uh, make a new folder, call it Nintendo 64 ROMs or whatever. Call it something that you'll remember it by because you will have to like open it up with Project 64. Alright, so now once you create the folder, you can just get your ROM directory uh, set up. So that folder that you created is going to be your ROM directory. So when you go to file, you want to say choose ROM directory. And then, so yeah, just find it on your desktop. So your desktop, and then just find the folder you want to use. See right there. Just click on that and say OK. And then, so once you've chosen that ROM list, you can, every time you want to, uh, like if you download a new game and you want to put it in a folder, you can just right click and say uh, refresh ROM list. And I'll just check the folder again. Double you can double click on the game to start it up and then in options once you're playing the game you can go to full screen and also to configure your controller plug-in you can click here if you have any joysticks plugged in and then just press one the button for each like the button for each button you want to match like with the Nintendo 64 so yeah this should pre this part should be pretty simple kinda hard just trying to decide which buttons you want if you have if you're using a keyboard so now you also can have player two, so you can click out for the controllers plugged in, so that way there isn't a controller. And yeah, so okay to that. So just start up the game once it's downloaded. Let's see if it's close. Nope. Well, kind of. So you also this video is for informational purposes only. Do not try selling NMD's ROMs in any way possible. Um. So yeah. Also, for this to be legal, you have to own all of these games before you play this. I do own these games, um, but if you don't own a game and you download it, just be prepared for uh, some like someone coming to your door or something. No, I'm just kidding. No one's gonna come. I don't think so anyway. But uh, so yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's done. Yeah, so you can remove that you can drag this into your ROM folder right click and refresh ROM list see there's your third game you don't have to extract it okay so yeah just a little thing you should know even though it is a zip file you don't need extract it project 64 does it for you so yeah you can just set it to full screen and then so start playing your game hope, hope you guys have fun using this uh, emulator okay see you next time